Good morning, everyone. So this week I'll be doing Workday Advanced Reporting training and I'll be taking you along with me. So I just got off my calls earlier today. We had a call at 8 a.m. This is a Monday. So Monday at 8 a.m. I literally woke up. I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot I have a call at 8 a.m. <laughs> but I made it on my phone and then I transferred onto my computer. All of this while I'm training 11.30 to 7.30. I don't actually know if it's going to be the full eight hours a day, but usually what they have during these trainings is that because it's working for many different time zones, there's no lunch. So we just kind of have to work remotely and work on our own pace. There are going to be like a few breaks here. And so like maybe 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But it's going to be very specific to, okay, we're going to get everything done, squeeze in this period of time. This training is actually an 8.30 a.m. PST, which means it's 11.30 for me and ends at 7.30. So typically the training will be on a Zoom call that they just sent out. In the Zoom call, we go on there. We have the instructor talk to us. Sometimes we'll do activities on the side. So they did give us a training tenant, so a training a uh, place for us to kind of do our configurations. In this case, it will be reporting, so we'll probably have to build a lot of reports. And then we also have a textbook as well, as well as potentially homework. I did see that there's some activities that we're gonna have to do, which is probably why we got the training tenant. Not all trainings get a training tenant, but usually those that are more hands-on would. This one, I think there's an exam on Friday. I've not met anyone that has taken this training, so I don't know how it's like, and maybe because of COVID it has changed. I don't even know if like before this, was this even done in person? The training has just started. Got all of this open. My textbook, my training tenant, the class itself. All right, so now we're doing our first activity. We're supposed to be creating a custom report in the textbook. It shows a little about what to do. The textbook will tell me everything I need to do and I need to demonstrate it in the tenant. So this is how a advanced report would look like. It's more in charts, not really a matrix, not really like any kind of composite style, but it really is just to combine sample data from employees. Oh my God, I'm just finally done for 30 minutes. Well, not for 30 minutes, I have 30 minutes. 30 minutes and 35 seconds. 3.40, but I have to be back by 4.11. I'm literally going to take a nap today at, until 4.11. Hi, Charlotte. Um, my little girl, how are you doing, my baby girl? She's going to my, be my nap buddy today. Oh, I just had my nap going back to training. These trainings do get taxing because you are constantly supposed to be doing this training. You don't really get a full break. And then even after this, still have to do homework. Coming from your data source filter. Remove exclude from headcount, include terminated workers and the employee type information. Uh, any other questions? Got some really good questions. I don't see everybody's hand up. Uh, so I'm still looking for a few hands up. All right, there's a 15 minute break right now. I'm gonna go heat up some dinner. It's like 5.56 right now. So my training technically ends at 7.30, so I really don't have time to eat dinner because after I do have to record a podcast episode at eight. So let's see what I have for dinner. So I have, I've been trying freshly recently, the oven baked chicken Florentine chicken Livorno. I think for today, I'm gonna have the chicken Livorno. So now all I have to do is really microwave it. It looks like this in here. It doesn't look that appetizing to be honest. Hot, hot, hot! We just finished our break, so uh, now people are going hard. over the exercise we just did. And these two top three are do not prompt at running time. Thank you, thank you very much. You are most welcome. We still have a minute and a bit. 
so it looks like I have a two minute break since I just finished my activity. I gotta put on my makeup because I'll be recording a podcast episode today. Ah! That's it. And then Addison over here, he's making me some Indomie, so I'm not gonna put on my lipstick just yet. Thank you. Guys, I, I forgot to vlog, but it was amazing. Indomie, he made it with soft boiled egg. Wow, thank you. The training is running late. We have five minutes left before I have to do my podcast recording. I don't know what we're gonna do. What's gonna happen? So just to kind of put it into perspective, is it that the clients go to you, they know they want service now at this point and it's The camera didn't record because there was no more space in the card, so I'm gonna have to use my Zoom recording this time. Then after that, I have to do another nine hours of training. Good morning, everyone. So today I am back in training. I am getting ready for my call. I do have a call with someone. My the person I'm that is shadowing me. She is preparing for a demo, so I'm going to be wa walking her through the demo and also making sure she's prepared for the call next week. And then I have training. I can't go to Sora's vet appointment. He actually did do another hairball today and it's kind of big. I don't want to show it here, but here it is and I'll pixelate the part that he threw up. So Addison's going to go and take him to the vet. It's like an eight minute walk away. So I'll be in training from 11.30 to 8.30 and yeah. Hey Ash. <laughs> we always want to start off with the, the demo on first, like here's what you asked us for. We want to ask any like remaining questions that we may have that like, for example, if maybe the demo was specifically to show them the security of not being able to do the settlement information or- Back on training. Ah. It's also 11.44 and I'm hungry, so I'm going to go get lunch. <laughs> Got back from our break and I'm actually having my dinner. It's the summertime risotto with chicken. So we have six minutes and 47 seconds left. I'm gonna be using this time to do the homework early. So looks like I have three activities to do and some reading to go over as well. There's homework for almost every day. <laughs> it's not like I've left school. And while we were doing homework, honestly, I accidentally did tomorrow's homework and then I was like, oh shoot, now I gotta do today's homework. <laughs> so I did two days of homework today, which means that tomorrow should be a fast day. Also for Thursday, uh, we just got our return to office approved in the system, which means that Derek May, Addison Chen, and I are gonna all go to the office. So originally I was gonna go to the office just on Thursdays, like typical, but this time around I was like, oh, it is possible to potentially bring someone over as well. And Derek, since he just moved into New York, I was like, you know what, why don't you just try to come in at one day and see how it's like. So that's gonna be what we have for Thursday, which is also the last day before the exam. So we shall see because that one means that we're probably gonna be like at the office until after 8.30 and eventually go for dinner there. So for today, I had a lot of freshly for lunch and for dinner. And also I didn't record it because I, can, I was like a little bit too hungry or you know, I just want that snack. Addison Chen made some of that ramen again. It wasn't Indomie this time, it was something else, but it was good because Sally Chen, my friend recommended it. I was like, so I have a call right now. It's like an internal meeting before we have our actual client call call at 10 a.m. so that's like literally in 30 minutes or so and then after that I'm back in training so literally like lately I've been working 10 11 hours maybe even 12 at one point <sighs> but it will be over soon what you doing there Don? Don! Hello there! She's just sitting on my bag. What are you doing there Don? one is the chicken parmesan they call it protein packed chicken parmesan so let's see how this tastes it's kind of like an early lunch it's like 9 52 but i am pretty hungry because i had dinner pretty early yesterday so my meal is like very messed up right now <laughs>
Guys, I gave in and I got bubble tea. So we have started our 15 minute break after we just did a column chart activity. So now I'm gonna go get my dinner. So training has been pretty brutal. I've already done something with advanced reporting before this training, but uh, honestly, like it's just a lot of, lot of work and a lot of information. Tough because I have clients pinging me on the side. I have emails on the side. I have life on the side, and then I also have my YouTube channel, whatever. Uh, and at the same time, we have homework and we have to make sure we re do all the readings as well to make sure that we're all up to date. So that way when we do the exam, which is multiple choice and it's a configuration, so we're gonna have to do actual reports in Workday. And that's what they're testing us on as well. I gotta do all of that. So really it's been like 13 to 14 hours a day <laughs> from all of that. Most people who do training, they tend to just do training but unfortunately because I have a lot of things that I have to do for my client I have to do client work as well so that's why like our training starts at 11 30 a.m. and it finishes at around 8 30 and then you have homework that's usually what you're supposed to do but for me I have to actually go on client calls and client work 8 a.m. to 11 30 and even so like a lot of times the clients like hey are you available for this time so I actually do have a call tomorrow in the morning so it is pretty tough though because in training i don't even understand how other people do it like let's say for example you're a single mom you have to go pick up your kids from school you can't really leave unless it's during a break but i think it could be tough for people to manage their life around this especially the fact that it is at home because you may have a lot of distractions on the side so like for example i have to go take the cats to the vet instead to ask addison to do it but if i was a single mom how would i do that you probably have to hire a babysitter right or get something else like it's pretty tough but uh, fortunately and unfortunately the training is at home so you can actually do this at home at your comfort without having to worry about an airplane or hotel or food or anything like that i mean for food technically i have freshly and factor to do that but for some people, they don't even have time to cook. I remember when I did training before for FDM, which is a different type of workday focus, I literally forgot how to eat. Like I forgot when to eat because I was just so focused on going to classes and also going to do the homework. And for the exam itself, it's like it could be eight hours long, depending on how long you take on it. You may forget to eat, so that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> but yeah. That's a little update about training. It's not the most glamorous. I know people are like, oh, you don't have to do client work, right? But sometimes you don't, you're not that lucky. You have to do client work and training. And right now, like this is the most I've worked in probably a year. It's like 13, 14 hour days. And not to mention that whenever I go to sleep, I feel like more tired than usual, that I even go to sleep earlier than usual. So my goal is to hopefully be able to edit a video tonight, but no promises there. I'll probably choose a video that is low maintenance and low energy to edit. So I did manage to actually get some video editing done. So I edited my podcast episode with Thais Puglia. I filmed this on Monday training today again <laughs> so right now i actually just had a 30 minute call i'm about to jump onto another 30 minute call and then we're gonna go to the office so that i'm just kind of casual which is why i'm a little bit more dressed up than usual because i'm going to the office but it is an accenture sweatshirt and accenture t-shirt got some snacks. I actually was able to set up my ebook that connects to the laptop and it's vertical instead of being on a horizontal screen. Got my training tenant and then I got my call up there. So nice. Look at Charlotte. She's so cute. Having my lunch in the office. He's skipping. He already ate. Oh no, he didn't eat. His food is just sitting there. massive Addison and Derek didn't want to wait so they just literally took off as I'm still in training training still going on they have taken off to walk around the office and explore Alright 
guys today is the big day it is exam day so right now it's 903 i have a call at 9 30 and another one at 10 but then i have my exam so the exam is multiple choice one hour so there's actually 30 minute 30 questions multiple choice two minutes each according to what they're saying your pacing should be it's all open book so i get my textbook i get the training tenant that we have i get uh, anything that we like took screenshots of that is all allowed to use but the configuration test after that they said is like five seven hours something like that i think it's like five hours is what they said 11 30 that's when it starts she's going to review our homework review a little bit on the coursework that we've been doing so let me guess that's like about one hour so 11 30 to 12 30 and then 12.30 to 1.30, let's say, is probably going to be the exam itself for the multiple choice. And then 1.30 to, I don't know, the rest of the day or something like that. If it's 1.30, then I probably would be done with my exam by like 3.30, maybe 4.30. And then we have dinner plans tonight. I actually just started using this app, Seated. Let me know in the comments below if you use it. Uh, it is where you can make a reservation and you get like a percentage off and rewards off of the like the total of your receipt excited to get this over with i don't like training like training is not glamorous people are like oh you get to work from home or you get to go somewhere else and then you go to a hotel or whatever there really isn't that much time for you to do all those cool things you're talking about like when we were in chicago yes there was because it was two weeks so we had a weekend after we were done with our weekend project All right, guys, here for the final stretch. They just sent out the link for the configuration exam and I just finished my multiple choice. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, I finally submitted my exam. So what ended up happening was that around two o'clock or so, the final exam for configuration started. It's not really gonna be like all at once and then like, okay, this is how the multiple choice is like, and this is how like the configuration exam. It kind of was like, okay, you have this whole time to do everything, but the multiple choice was timed in the actual assessment itself. So for the configuration exam, they say it's like about six hours, but it looks like I took about three. And, and now it's just, I submitted it. The exam I think was pretty, it's one of those exams where if you do one thing wrong, it's a trickle effect, like everything else will get affected. And at one point I messed up one report and then the second report I had to create literally said to copy the previous one. So all of those mistakes from before showed up. <laughs> so I had to redo that report and I basically spent an hour just trying to fix everything and put it back and then because like, all of those steps kind of build onto each other. So if you mess up one step to do all the others yourself. So now I'm done. It is 5.46 p.m. I just got an email saying that something like that I did during the week got approved to move into production for my client. So now I'm moving that into production before the night ends because they actually do a refresh every Friday. So I'm gonna be ending this day by going to go for Malaysian food. No, you can't. <laughs> Ow. Look at that, there's a fire under. Now here's your fire. 